Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of how to make a Roblox rig series. In today's episode, we'll be covering how to import and prepare your model for rigging. So let's get started. So firstly, I'm going to delete everything in the scene. We don't want these things in our rig. Maybe having a camera is good, but for now, we're just going to delete those. And all we need to do is just go to file, import, and go to wavefront. So for this one, I'm going to be using a Hazen model. So I'm just going to go and select the OBJ file and turn on split by group and import it. So here we have the Hazen model split by all models. And what we're going to first do is parent everything. So if you have any models that belong to the arms or legs or anything like that, uh, maybe for the torso too, uh, just leave it for now. Uh, we'll be talking about that later on. For the head, all you need to do is just hold shift and select one of the accessories. So I've missed out one. Here we go. And make sure the last thing you select is a head. Then press control P on your keyboard. Click on object. So now you can see the head makes everything else move along with it. Now let's go and name our model parts. So for this, I'm just going to call it accessory one. For this part, I'm going to call it the right leg this will be the left leg this will be the torso this will be the left arm this will be the right arm and this will be head and actually if we have a look in the outliner right here and we open up this you have all these accessories right here we're just going to call this accessory two i'm just going to copy and paste it from here so like this, okay, done. So now let's prepare the geometry for these models. So if we actually take a look into edit mode, uh, to make these uh, parts of the character bend, it's gonna be quite difficult considering there's practically no geometry. So what we're gonna have to do is prepare it for rigging. So hold down shift and select all body parts apart from the accessories and press tab to go into edit mode or just change it right here. Press A and what we're gonna do now is press Alt J on our keyboard and we're going to press M and then click on by distance in a pop-up that appears. So if you can't remember that shortcut, all you need to do is just go to F3 and you need to find tries to quads and you also need to find merge and by distance. So that's where you can find it. Now let's add some loop cuts. So we're going to go into front view mode and we're going to go right here, scroll down and find this, it's loop cut. And we're going to add three horizontal ones to the head by just left clicking on it. And we're going to do the same with the torso, same with the arms, same with the legs, and same with the other arm. Okay, so now our model looks a bit broken, and that's because of auto smooth. So what we need to do is just go right here into the object data properties, find normals, and turn off auto smooth on all of these. So now our model looks practically exactly how it did before. It's just without auto smooth. And what we're gonna do is select all our models again and without the accessories, of course, and we're gonna right click and click on shade smooth. So it won't look too good for now, but we'll sort this out later. So now let's sort out the material. So if we go into material view right here, so it isn't too broken for me actually. This is something new, it hasn't been broken. For me and it shouldn't break if you're in cycles anyways so if we're going to rendered mode right here you can see it's not broken at all but in EV it might be and this is because of alpha so if you have any issues in EV just make sure to go to the material properties when selecting the body parts and go to blend mode and change it to opaque but actually what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shading tab and what we're going to do is change up some of this texture because it's it doesn't look too shiny and we want we want a bit of we want a bit of specular to it so what we're going to do is select one of these body parts and i'm selecting the torso delete the second texture right under here this is an alpha texture we don't need it so i'm just going to delete that and right here in this principal bsdf we're just going to delete it and add a new one with this def with its default settings right here this is because it's got nicer settings and you'll see now it shines a little bit more. It will look nicer in renders, actually. I've noticed it looks a lot nicer in renders. So if I go right here into cycles, you can see it does not look too bad. So we've got a nice texture right here. 
Uh, you can fix it on some of the other models, but I mean, do whatever you want, honestly. It, you don't even need to fix the texture. You can leave it if you want to. I'm just going to fix it on this other model though. Okay, well, I feel bad, but I'm going to delete the cat since it's breaking on here. Make sure to use this time to delete accessories that you don't necessarily want on here. So I'm going to keep these actually because I like it like this. Now, I am actually just going to add some modifiers. So modifiers are literally what the name is. It just changes the models. So what we need to do is go to the modifier properties right here on one of the body parts. I'm going to go to a torso. I wouldn't touch the accessories for the for this part. And what I would do right here is just go to modifier properties and add a subdivision surface. So I'm going to actually leave it at zero for the levels. And I'm going to make the render three. So if we have a look in the viewport and change it to three, it looks nice. So that's what it's going to look like in the render. And all we need to do now is hold down on shift and select all of the other body parts that we want to add this modifier to. And just select the torso last and go to this drop down right here and click on copy to selected. Now they all have it. So that's a really useful trick I learned. Okay, well done. You just set up your model for rigging. I hope this tutorial helped you and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.